Hey everybody, I'm Dustin with Frontier Basement Systems. Hi, I'm Brittany. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about uh, painting your basement. Don't paint your basement. Yeah, don't paint your basement. So, uh, you know, people use lots of different types of things to paint their basement. Uh, there's lots of different things that are out there. Drylock's a favorite. I hear that one a lot. Yeah. So, you know, the thing about painting a basement, uh, the reason why a lot of people put it on there is because they're dealing with a lot of moisture problems inside of a basement. Uh, and, you know, in reality, if you read the back of what it says on dry lock and a lot of these other, uh, you know, heavy paints, it basically says that it has to be applied to a dry surface, which means that the block has to be completely bare. So there can't be any paint on it whatsoever. So that being said, you know, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, you got to grind all the old paint off. So think about if you paint anything, you're going to have to sand it mm -hmm. so that you've got a surface that you can, the paint actually can bond to. Uh, so if there's already paint on your basement, somebody's already tried that and it's failed. So if you add it to like your annual spring cleaning list, sand down the basement, repaint the basement, clean up all the dust. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> it, it actually says that it needs to be done once a year, which means that you would have to sand all that stuff down and do it all over again every single year. So in reality, once it's failed, there's more of a problem. And it's just going to keep happening. Yeah. So we need to do the water management versus the waterproofing that it claims. So what are some of the things that we're looking for when we realize that is failing? So you can see a lot of efflorescence and some people think that it's uh, mold, but it's uh, like a chalky substance. Uh, it can be white, uh, it can be uh, yellow, sometimes it'll discolor. Uh, and basically what it is, is it's mineral deposits that are being left behind that when water soaks into the block, it's being evaporated by the basement air and uh, leaves behind these salty mineral deposits. Kind of reminds me of a cave. Yeah, yeah. If your basement feels like a cave, in reality, if your basement doesn't feel the same in the basement as it does in the rest of your house, there's something wrong. So how do you know if there's a problem? What's one way you can test, Brittany? Oh, I do. I have a clever test here. So if you get saran wrap or just a clear plastic wrap, this one, for example, is a baggie that we use. But if you taste that, take that and place it on the wall in a good firm seal all the way around with some good tape. You leave that for about a week. If you start seeing the moisture in there, then there's moisture in your block or in the wall. Right. So, so it's a really easy way to tell if, uh, if you know, you're getting too much moisture inside the basement, if too much of it's evaporating inside the space, and really if the vapor barrier that is on the other side of this wall has actually failed or not. So don't be like this guy where it's all chipping and painting and you know there's multiple levels of paint here that are flaking off and getting really nasty but uh you know it looks like wallpaper or like scrapbook paper that's about how thick it is so yeah. it comes off kind of the same yeah and it's really ugly it's about the same so all yeah right. so until next week uh look forward to seeing you then thanks for watching <laughs> bye